What's up guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you a different type of video today. This is my opinion of what an amusement park's gaps are with their coaster collection. I'm starting with my home park, Six Flags Great America, and I'm going to say what coasters Six Flags Great America needs and what coasters would be the best fit for the park. So the first option is a Giga Coaster. It could be an Intamin Giga Coaster like Millennium Force or Intimidator 305, which those are very good Intamin Gigas. Or they can get a Giga Coaster from B&M like Fury 325 or Leviathan. Another option for Great America is a Complete Circuit Launch Coaster. Yeah, I think Great America should get a launch coaster, maybe an Intamin launch coaster, or a Mac Rides launch co coaster like Manta. It could be like a family launch coaster. It could be like any full circuit launch coaster. A type of launch coaster they could get is a Stratocoaster. A Stratocoaster would be a very good fit for Six Flags Great America. It would give them a very massive launch coaster. And it does not go backwards and forwards. It's a complete circuit launch coaster. And it could be the tallest coaster in the park. Another option I see is an Intamin Blitz coaster. An Intamin Blitz coaster would be a good fit for the park. It would be that full circuit launch coaster. It could have one or two inversions. It could have some intense elements. It could be a family coaster like Cheetah Hunt or an insane ride like Maverick. It would be a very good coaster, and one of the best coasters at Great America. Now my next option is an SNS 4D coaster. An SNS 4D coaster would be a good fit for Six Flags Great America, because they don't really have too much land to add new, a new coaster, really. And an SNS 4D coaster, like Batman the Ride at Fiesta Texas, like a clone, a clone of that, would be a good fit because it's not it doesn't use much land and it's a very fun 4D coaster. And my final option is a Larson Super Loop. This would be a good fit for Six Flags Great America and they don't really have as much land to put a very big roller coaster. So I could see them getting a new Larson Super Loop in the old Raging Cajun location. In my opinion, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.